uh, medical inspections. This is what we're going to do today. These are the women. Women were very scared of medical inspections. All right. Not only are they nervous because they don't know what these inspectors are going to say, how they're going to act. The whole issue is, is that what if what if something's wrong with you and you don't know it? Try to take just a look at this and imagine having one of these stuck in your eye and it, it literally pulls back your eyelid. And that's how they would look for trachoma. Alright? Trachoma was untreatable. You cannot get medicine out of a jar. You could put eye drops in. It could lead to blindness and even death. Okay? So trachoma, if you show any indication of trachoma, you will automatically go ahead and go on and go back home. Okay? These, I just wanted to show y'all and actually give y'all a visual of what would be stuck in your eye. And think about this. If, I'm, if I've got nine people in a row, do you think I'm going to take out a Lysol wipe and clean these off? No. Trachoma could also be spread by the person in front of you who does have it, and then the person behind you, they check your eye, it could be spread like that. You would sometimes you would have people that would not switch them out and you're not gonna sanitize it. And then wouldn't that be stupid because if you didn't have it then you would get free yeah, Yes, it's an issue and that's what happened. You you gotta think that that was before people knew about the spreading of diseases and how they were traced and uh, the importance of health and safety codes, you got to bring that into play. Alright, some of y'all are asking about the mental testing and the issues. Alright, so according to a 1917 U.S. Public Health Service manual, 9 out of 100 immigrants were marked with an X. Okay, what does the X mean? Who has an X in here? A mental defect. Okay, it's a suspected mental defect. Alright, um, if you have an X with a circle, what is that? It's, you are definitely, you, you have a definite sign of a mental defect. Now, people, y'all were asking yesterday, well, how do you decide if you have a mental defect? All right, I'm about to show you some of the ways that they were evalu evaluated at Ellis Island, okay? What they're going to do, during the primary examination, doctors first ask the immigrants to answer a few questions about themselves, uh, to add and do simple math or count backwards from 20 um, or you're going to have puzzles that are going to have to be completed and so out of the nine immigrants held for this weeding out process uh, you will have perhaps one or two that are detained for secondary uh, testing and even eventually you could be sent home. Alright? Mental testing. They ask questions such as how much is two and two how much is two and one? Meaning, how much is two plus one? Alright? How much is two and two? But the next young girl, also from our city, so she was the next one in line, went and they asked her, how do you wash stairs? From the top or from the bottom? Okay? She says, I don't go to America to wash, uh, to wash stairs. Alright, so you got to think about this. How is that fair to either one? Okay, these questions, how do they evaluate it, how do they answer these questions? I mean, if I ask you, how do you, Cole, how do you wash your stairs from top to bottom or bottom to top? Top to bottom. And why? So you don't try to get Very good. Yeah, that's right. You start, most people generally start at the top, okay? Because when you mop, you're going to have water that drips down. If you start at the top and mop all the way down to the bottom, you're still clean. All right? Can you draw a diamond? Why a diamond? We don't know. Okay. Doctors found that this test, which was uh, it required the immigrants to copy geometric shapes, was useful only in uh, the examination of immigrants who knew how to write or use a pencil. So they would have them draw diamonds. These are examples of what they would draw. Okay. Simple as that. Geometric shapes. This right here is actually a wood figure. And it's a puzzle, and they would have asked them to put it together. You can kind of see the line is on bud 16, and she's got it's got smaller numbers on here. That way, you can track which immigrant is coming from what boat. Okay, this is the signals and the letters that were. How were they marked on you? Charlie. 
chalk on your clothes, and what would many immigrants do? Wipe it off. Wipe it off for? Who said flip a shirt? Yes, flip a shirt. They'll wipe it off and flip their shirts. Alright? So they can that it shows that they're fine, they can just be processed. This is a manifest sheet, okay? All of these people, this is only 30 individuals, okay? It's all in the same handwriting, so that's one person keeping track. Do you think that one person can do all of this without making any mistakes? No. No, you're going to have some issues. Up here on the top, if you notice, it says last, uh, last place of resident, residency, nationality, age, um, these are still at Ellis Island. If you want to know where you've come from, you can find who your ancestors were that came to Ellis Island. And last but not least, this is your detention card. Alright, this means you are not allowed to come into the United States. I've got to send you back home, and this is why. And then if you were granted citizenship, here you go. The Department of Labor, Hannah Bridges, you are now an American citizen. Go you forth and live a happy life. This is, you have to imagine, okay, they've already gone through one set of medical exams, so you already know what your diagnosis is. All right? So I'm going to start off by, um, I'm going to ask you, what is your name? Chin Chin. Chin Chin, and where are you from? Um, China. China? Yes. All right. And why, why do you plan on coming to America? Because <coughs> I want a better life and escape poverty. And also the um, rebellion. Okay, the rebe the civil war that's going on over there. Okay, um, what do you plan to do when you if you're admitted as a citizen? A household servant. A household servant. Okay, and um, what have, were you diagnosed with anything when you went through conjunctivitis? Um, well, I'm going to place you in the medical ward, and they're going to treat you for that, and then. You can um, be processed as an American citizen uh, based on what you told me. I, I mean, I think that you would be fine and you'd be great over here. Okay? So if you just go that way, you can, uh, towards the medical ward, they'll process you through. And yes, ma'am, what is your name? Chun Lee. Chun Lee. And where are you coming from? <laughs> All right. And what, um, what type of job, what, what are you coming to America for? A shoe shop owner? Okay. Do you, did you do that in China? Okay. And what, um, have you been diagnosed with anything? A mental defect? Do you know why? What did they say? They said it was certain. Did, that it was certain? Okay. Um, and just by me seeing and talking with you and you can communicate good with your English, I think that you deserve to be um, placed in the uh, special inquiry. So we're going to reevaluate you and do um, some, you know, puzzles and I'm going to see if you can write. So if you just go that way to the uh, specific inquiry room, we can go from there. Okay. And yes, sir. What's your name? My All right. And where are you from, sir? Italy. You, all right. You're from Italy. And why are you trying to come to the United States? For a better life and job. And what type of jobs? Me and my brothers want to go to pizzeria. Uh, okay, so you have you have brothers? How many are there? Two. Okay, and what are you going to, were you, have you been diagnosed with anything? Um, goiter. Goiter. I noticed that your neck was swollen, so I was wondering. <laughs> are you, um, are you going to, are you being treated for goiter? No. No? Okay. Well, I'm going to send you to the medical ward so that we can get you on some medicine and um, that that can be addressed. And um, what about your brothers? What do you, If you um, are processed as an American, what are you going to do if one of your brothers is denied? Stay in the ward. So you're going to stay even if they are not allowed in? Okay. And um, do you plan, are you married? No. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and process you through, and you will receive your citizenship card at the very end of um, the building. All right?